Uh, anybody in here with fibromyalgia? Okay, see. Okay, we got one down here. You too. Come on. You see, I love teaching and praying. Is they uh, they've termed me with pray teach, and I love your hair. It's so fun. Where did you get your outfit? Loss. <laughs> <laughs> I went all the way to Uganda to get mine like that. <laughs> I haven't been diagnosed, but I have a lot of muscle pain, especially in my calf. Like, my calf will just turn to cement, like, just like a rock. And just, like, it's like my muscles used to just contract. So I have, like, various, like, nerve. Mm -hmm. um, you have a lot of stress and trauma in your life? Yeah. Yeah, that's what brings it on. <clears throat> okay. Now, do you remember offhand how long you have had the pain? The probably, um, I'll say I had like a traumatic marriage. Probably, I think it started with while I was married. And how long ago was that? Um, well, I've been divorced like three years, but I was married for 14 years. Okay, so and then how and then so, but you've had the pain probably 17, 18 years, roughly. Yeah, okay, mm -hmm. because. Fibromyalgia is triggered, brought on by a traumatic event or events. And then all of a sudden you're married and you're like, I have to stay married and I can't live in this hell and it's dangerous. Well, the word says you can run for your life, et cetera, okay? And so, um, and so that opened the door because you're stressed, you're worried. I've let myself down, I've let my family down, I've let God down, I've let blah, 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 blah. And then you're carrying all the weight and all that guilt. Okay, and then you got stress in your neck, then it goes down to your shoulders, and then it goes down your back, and it usually settles in the bottom. And then it can go lower than that, but when you start having, oh man, that really hurts. You go to the doctor, and this is where I really hurt, and they go, oh, you got fibromyalgia. Because it settles, once again, it settles in the bottom. Okay, so let's get rid of all that. Okay? Yes. Are you remarried? No. Not yet? Is Not that what yet. you said? Not yet. Okay, that's what I thought you said. <laughs> Not yet, yes. I claim that. Yes, I'm, I'm doing a wedding here November the 6th of two people that met at ordination. <laughs> and then I had, um, our, our, what's just so cool is that our board members for Canada, um, they, they, they met down here. Where do you live? Well, Stouffville. Do you live in Stouffville? Stouffville has like 15 people in it. <laughs> and they both live in Stouffville. Now they're married, and they were both on my board, and then they got married, and they said, can we still be on your board because we're married? I'm like, sure, you know, and so they take care of all our uh, Canadian office donations and things like that, and, uh, and it's just so cute. It's just, <laughs> I'm going to go see them in November. I'm going to have Thanksgiving up there, but y'all don't have Thanksgiving in Canada, but I'm going to go across the border. Amen. So excited. We've, been, we've changed the date so many times going over there. So now we're going to get rid of the fibromyalgia. You ready? Okay, just relax. Okay? Just like you and me are talking to Jesus. Okay? So, Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I just curse any and all form of trauma in this life, in this body, in Jesus' name. I command every bit of it to go in Jesus' name. I curse the spirit of fibromyalgia, spirit of pain, chronic fatigue syndrome. I command every bit of it to go, any form of cellular memory of the pain. I command it to be gone. All these stress balls, I command every one of them to be completely wiped out of this body. He said the main one's usually back here. In the name of Jesus, all gone. Say, thank you, Jesus. Thank check, you, your, Jesus. check your muscles. No pain. No pain. I receive it. <laughs> Isn't that great? Praise and no more pain, no more fibromyalgia. Amen. Okay, so... Ex-husband's first name? George. George. That's funny, whoever tra yeah. people travel with me. Because I just refer to all the guys as George. <laughs> I know. I know. George really got around, that's for sure. <laughs> I call him generic George, okay? And so um, you were married, and I, and I know you may have said this in the book, mm -hmm. but I'm going to lead you. Now, are you getting ordained also? 
Yes. Okay, good. Okay, just say Father. Father. I went into covenant. I went into covenant. With George. With George. And we're no longer married. And we're no longer married. So I renounce that covenant. So I renounce that covenant. Anything bad. Anything bad. That came in through that covenant. That came in through that covenant. Take it from me now. Take it from me now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay, awesome. Thank you. Okay, so, and then how long have you had fibromyalgia, roughly? 29 years. 29 years. Anything happened 29, 30 years ago? I was sexually molested when I was 13. Okay, so it's 29 years ago, roughly? Yeah, it okay. is. Okay. Abuse and with ex fiance and my son and I were almost killed by my ex-husband, so... It's been a pattern. Yes. Trauma on top of trauma. Is there anybody here who hasn't gone through trauma? <laughs> My hand's way down on that one. Okay. I just don't look like it. I don't act like it. I have no residual effect of any of that trauma. And they said it would be impossible. Seven, eight years, you might feel a little better. I'm like, oh, man. Oh, no. I'm not giving the rest of my life to this pain. No way. I'm getting free. And I got free, and I wrote books so that you can get free, and you've read most of them. So that's really good, right? Okay, so I'm going to lead you in a few prayers when we get done. Don't fall over backwards because you're avoiding the microphone. I know exactly what you're doing. I used to do that. My mom would cram it in my face, and I would just get so mad at my mother. But no, I appreciate it. Okay, you can cram it in my face if you need to. She says, okay, you can cram it in my face if you need to. <laughs> but it's my turn to talk, so you're okay. So, Father, right now, and then you can, I want you to turn this way a little bit. Okay? And you're much prettier than you think. Thank you. That's right. I am not into false flattery, because that would be bad and lying. Okay? So, just count on what I'm saying is that you're much prettier than you are, you, than you think you are, mm -hmm. okay? Because you don't think you're very pretty, but I think you're amazing. Kind of pretty. Kind of pretty. <laughs> kind of. I'm not ugly, so this is a good start. I don't hate myself anymore, so. <laughs> okay, here we go. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I just curse any and all form of trauma in this life, in this body, all the abuse that she's endured through since conception, I command every bit of that pain to go in Jesus' name. I curse the spirit of fibromyalgia, spirit of pain, chronic fatigue syndrome. I command every bit of it to go, any and all forms of stress balls <coughs> throughout this body. I command it to be gone. I speak health and wholeness into the digestive system. I curse any and all forms of trauma in the female area in the name of Jesus. Every bit of stress ball to be completely released, no cellular memory of any stress balls or pain in this body, in Jesus' name. Say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now check wherever you want to check, even on TV. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I told you where it landed. <laughs> no pain? No. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Okay. So, do you know the person's name of the person who molested you? First name. He died a month later, but yes, I know. Okay, he died a month later. And I, he was, my dad was trying to find him because he'd hurt me, and he was drunk. The guy was drunk, and he was smoking and passed out and burned up with his trailer. Wow. Yep. I'm going to ask you a question later off mic regarding that. Okay? And um, just to kind of go a step further, his first name? Doug. Doug. Okay, Father. Father. I went into covenant. I went into covenant. Unwillingly. Unwillingly. With? With Doug. Doug, okay, that's what I almost said. Doug, and in and, and that covenant. In that covenant. I renounce it now. I renounce it in now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Anything bad. Anything bad. Including shame. Including shame. That came in with that. That came in with that. Take it from me now. Take it from me now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that feels good. <laughs> oh, that feels so good. 
Here, pick that up on the mic. Oh, that feels so good. <laughs> okay, now, now you're watching Transformation. Yeah. Okay? And ex-husband's name? Robert. Father? Father. I went into covenant with Robert. I am in covenant with Robert. And we're no longer married. We're no longer married. So I renounce that covenant. So I renounce that covenant. Anything bad. Anything bad. That came in through the covenant. That came in through the take covenant. Take it from me now. Take it from me now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> we'll give her a moment. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you what just happened. Okay? She's in her own little world. We'll let her stay there for a little bit. She comes up here. She is like this, almost like she's got neck problems. She doesn't want to be seen. I kept trying to push her head this way a little bit. Now, when she got healed, she went. <laughs> okay? That says, I don't want anybody to see me. Yeah, there she is. Okay? There you go. Put it up here. Mm hmm. Mm. And then it's like. Isn't that awesome? That is really awesome. 